In my life, I felt very blessed that, you know, I'm here because my dad almost didn't make it. And I had a really good family and they were really musical and uh, always good records playing. And then I met my bass player, Thomas Yearsley, in high school. And he already had some bands, I already had some bands. And then we met up and then we never looked back, man. We just, we just kept trying to find a good drummer and write a new song. And when I met Thomas, we, we compared our records. We had a lot of the same. He was more into jazz and swing. And I remember he really loved Count Basie. And he loved B.B. King and me too. I love B.B. King, but then I love Buck Owens. So, you know, we, we kind of mixed all that together. Then we both loved Elvis. So we mixed, mixed the 50s rock and roll sound with the B.B. King 50s sound and some swing from Count Basie and some twang from Buck Owens. And that's how we made the Paladin sound. Don't be afraid to do what you want to do. That's what I would say. Don't be afraid to do what you want to do. If you want to sound like Howlin' Wolf, go for it, man. Or if you want to sound like the Paladins who love, love Howlin' Wolf, do that. But uh, don't be afraid to mix up other things. That's where I say, mix it up. Make your own sound, but don't be afraid to be different. Try, don't, don't worry about what's on the radio every day and all this, because this is, this is, I don't know. For me, it's not, the tradition to me, I think you can learn more from the past than you can from the, from the present. Now I see so many bands that play our songs or that, that uh, guitar players that were inspired by the Paladin sound or my guitar and I think this is cool. I don't think it's the most popular sound because we never were. We're not trying to be modern and uh, it's not mainstream sound that was what made my ear light up when I was a kid. It was already old records back then that I liked. And I still listen to those same old records and still think, oh my God, how did T-Bone Walker play like this? How did Howlin' Wolf sing? How did Jerry Lee Lewis? How did all these guys write? And now I see even some of these songs on this record all the way back from our very first set list, from our first album. Some of these songs come back, people still love them because they're timeless songs. Thank you, friends, so much. Look at, huh?